My God, it is cold. Can you see my breath? Can you see that? This is gonna look so wicked. God, it's so cold. Oh, that feels good. Ooh. What's up everybody, I'm Mitch. This is Fit for Moto and welcome to a very cold edition of Fit for Moto in the garage. Now, where I'm at right now in Calgary, Alberta, it's about minus 39 outside, which as you can imagine, it's way too cold to actually ride my bike, but I figured that's a great opportunity to get some work done to this thing. And this episode is gonna be all about how to apply some graphics. Now I went with something that I think is really cool. I went with all black plastic, black graphics. We're gonna, we're gonna murder this thing out and I think it's gonna look really sick when it's done. But to talk about the plastics kit, I just ordered a full set of plastics from a Cherubis or a, a Cerbis or I don't know, whatever. However you say that, I ordered a full plastics kit from them. It's actually pretty cheap. It's only about 150 bucks, I think, for the full kit. So we're gonna replace all the plastics on this thing. And I got a custom graphics kit from OMX Graphics. I've never had them before, but we're gonna see how they hold up. So I'll do a, a video in the future and let you know how the graphics hold up to some riding, to some scrutiny. We'll see how long they last. But in any case, we got the plastics, we got a new graphics kit. We're gonna murder this thing out. It's gonna be really cool. But in order for those graphics to actually stick to the plastics because it's so bloody cold in here, we're gonna have to go inside to my gym and, and we'll let the plastics and the graphics warm up a little bit so they actually stick. So I'll meet you guys in there. Well, if you're anything like me, once you've ordered some new plastics and new graphics and you tear apart the packaging like a Neanderthal, you're pretty excited to get into it, but you're pretty intimidated. So let's start with tip number one, clean the area. Make sure that the plastics are nice and clean so that the graphics are actually gonna be able to stick to it. Which leads me right into number two. Pick a reference point on your graphics. It's easy to use something like the very tip of a graphics or something where there's some lines to follow and start there. Simply peel back a small portion of the packing and start with that simple point because if that lines up, you should be able to just work your way back and everything else should line up. And I wanna stress should. Anyway, it's important to start from the middle, work your way out so that you minimize any air bubbles along the way. What you're gonna find though is that you do run into some little ripples like I've got here. That's not a big deal. You should be able to use a little bit of elbow grease, use some thumb strength and just push those ripples down. You can also use something like a credit card or a piece of plastic and use a little more force to evenly and smoothly apply to get those ripples out of there. Again, using a reference point like the little notch cut in the graphics, visually align that before you try and stick it first to see how it should look when it's done. And then just like on the previous one, use a measuring point and then check your work when you're done. If all goes well, you should have one radiator shroud all done. Tip number three, do one arm at a time. With something like a front fender, it can be pretty confusing because there's so many strands. Which one do you start with? So like before, start with a reference point. I know the great part is you can just tear the backing or use like a razor blade or a knife to cut it. Be careful not to cut your actual graphics and do them one at a time. Simply peel up one layer and start from there. I chose here to start with the middle one. Again, working on the middle, almost like a spine going up the fender and then working on the other two. It's important here to note that you want to take your time with these and use another line like the edge of the fender or something like that to make sure that they look like they're on there straight. And again, if you have to, you can peel it back and start over, but regardless, you should end up with something like this. Now, tip number four, number plates. These things can be an absolute pain in the butt because of the actual curve of the plate. Once again, picking a reference point, start in the middle and kind of work your way through it. Now, you're gonna find that with the number plates, these definitely become a pain in the butt when things don't line up like that. And that's not what you want at all. That looks like amateur hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try, try and try again. Feel free to take these graphics off. Don't damage them too much, but trust me, they're gonna stick just fine. So feel free to start over, try it again, and maybe again. 
And well, maybe we need to try it one more time. Either way, once you get working through it, you're actually gonna find that those holes come in handy because when you have air bubbles, you can push the air out through those little holes. Or if you have a big one like that, simply lift up the edge of the graphics just a little bit and you can just push that air bubble out with your thumbs and you're laughing. Next thing you know, you've got a number plate that actually looks pretty good. It's free of air bubbles. It looks like it's been done right. All right, tip number five. At some point, if you've got new plastics, you're gonna to have to take the old ones off. I got a little magnetic dish here that I can attach to the bike and keep track of all my bolts, but also keep your old plastics. And you know what, throw them in a pile because when you sell it, when you trade it in, maybe you wanna change up your plastics altogether, you're gonna have a nice set of plastics to actually go to. That's gonna help the resale value. Well, there you have it guys. Putting on graphics is really pretty simple. Just stick to those tips that I gave you. Trust me, you're gonna be fine if I can do it. Anybody can do it, but I'm really happy with how this thing came out. I think it looks pretty sick. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Tell me your thoughts on the black. Tell me if you'd have picked a different color. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and as usual, smash that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.